All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, Terrell Grant. Tuesday, so you know we've got a podcast going on. Today, we have a special guest. I've been promising a guest for a long time now. I've finally got it. Um, we've got my a good friend of mine, Miles Weston. He is a professional football player. He's a true inspiration and role model for me. He, in, he plays internationally, represents his country, and he has definitely got a lot of gems that he could share with you guys. We're not jingle. We, we haven't got the jingle going yet, but I've got a little bit of a sound bite. Hold on. Just because I knew Mars was coming in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Tim Westwood style. <laughs> 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 drop a bomb yeah, for them. <laughs> Hold on. You gotta drop some bombs for them, man. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. All, all jokes aside, uh, Miles, thank you for giving up your time today. Um, I know you're a busy man. Um, so yeah, uh, just no um, problem, man. It's a pleasure. Thank you, it's a pleasure thank, thank you for here. coming in. Um, oh, yeah, me, pleasure, me, me and you go like we go a long way back. You know our families. Uh, a friend, you know, our, 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 you know, it's it's a tight knit circle. So having you on is absolute pleasure, and there's definitely loads of value I think you can offer to everyone that listens in, and even myself as well. You know, I always um, consider you as someone that you know I really look up to in towards of uh, in terms of everything that you've achieved, um, yeah. your mindset. You know, with, you, you know, I've, I've watched your journey from from afar. And from close as well, you know, and it's it's definitely truly inspiring. Um, and yeah, I sort of just you know just take my hat off to you and just like I don't I don't think we talk about this stuff enough, you know, like being no, each other up for, for like the, the journey, and you know, it's not been like linear. I say to my clients a lot of times, even with like losing weight, like it's it's there's ups and downs. It's never just just like 100%. straightforward. There's there's curveballs. There's things you have to adapt to. There's things that you need to change. Things don't always go your way. Um, so yeah, today we're just gonna just talk a little bit about you know fitness, wellness, your journey, your mindset. What what you know what have what mindset you've had to adopt to get to where you are, and the things that you've had to come uh, overcome. Um, so first of all, what what is that? Like, we you know this is all about wellness and fitness. So what is wellness for you? Like what is feeling good for you what do you do to, to to feel good in terms of movement or just anything basically so um what i'd say um the place i'm at right now um is probably the best i've been at uh mentally physically emotionally um but it's taken me years to get here um i believe when i was younger um the things that I thought was right, um, it wasn't. Um, regarding, it could be uh, my body, it could be things that I'm into, it could be uh, ment mentally. Um, I just think um, the older I've got, the more I've grown um, and the more understanding, that I, under um, I understand myself better. So um, I think it's important. Wellness to me is about knowing yourself, knowing what you need, um, and trying to do the best that you can for that. So whether it's um, mentally, um, knowing what you need to keep your mental state right, if it's physically, knowing what you need um, to keep your body right, um, recovery, um, where, all, it, all, every aspect. It's just knowing yourself. Wellness to me is, is, is knowing yourself and trying to do the best for yourself. Do you get what I'm saying? To keep, to, so you can be the best you. Do you yeah. get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And um, as, and and as I said, it's taken me 33, I'm 33. So it's yeah. taken me 33 years to, to get to know myself the way I do now. I'm, I'm, as I said, I'm in a good place um, in every aspect, and but it's taken me years to get here. So, yeah. Oh, that's, 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 that's amazing. I, I like to always hear like people's transformational journey, kind of like, you know, being in one position and having to adjust, you know, like you might think, like you said, feeling that certain things, uh, are in line with what you want to achieve and are right for you and good for you and then you realize you know what that might not be 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 the right right thing for me no definitely it's, it's growth i think um 
it's growth. Um, everyone needs time to grow. And um, at the, when you're younger, you might feel like, yeah, I need to do this or this is good for me or I'm into this. And then when you grow up, you, you the things that you used to be into, you might not be into as much. Yeah. Um, like things change. I've, I've, I've got kids. So um, I've, I've got a partner. So it's all like when I was younger, I didn't have all them things. So it was... Um, you have to you have to grow up you have to adapt i should say and and as they get to know you because it's just all part of the journey i'd say yeah i I totally agree with that and i I touched on that briefly a couple of weeks ago about um how your situation changed like even with myself obviously i have a partner as well and the way how i used the hours that i used to work the way that i used to train the, the, the style of the eating like you know like the type of diets that I used to do kind of worked well for me when I was younger but as I've got older like it just it doesn't fit with my situation or what I believe serves me well um at the moment so I, I totally can agree with that we say you know it's it's a growth mindset and you have to continually be looking into yourself to figure out you know what your values are what what is highest of my 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 value and my priorities and I think that's um something that we all should consistently revisit no definitely definitely um as I said it's taken me eight years to get to where I am now and I'm, I'm happy with it and I'm, and I'm only gonna get better and I'm only gonna grow so it's just knowing yourself as I said like it's sometimes I feel like you have to go through things to um to get to way to get to progress like life is not easy and um as i said you have to um figure it out the journey like you have to the journey that's what the journey is for you get what yeah, i mean definitely definitely um so like i said before we we kind of um pretty much grew up together like same circle of friends and and, and family um what for you when when kind of you was younger um and obviously you was um, playing football at a very good level. Um, growing up, what kind of kept you on the, the, the right path in terms of your environment? So um, let's say Friday night, there's a party, it's going off, you know, like, yeah. what, like yeah. what, what, what kind of kept, kept you making like the right decisions or had you made mistakes and then you've had to be like, Do you know what, Miles, that's, that's not going to get me where I need to go to. Um, I would say personally is the people that I had around me. Obviously, I've got a, a as you, you've, you've I've grown up with you. I've got a, a, a good um, circle. I would say my family um, would um, advise me and and was there for me. Mm-hmm. I feel that that was very important. Um, I, I had my mum and my dad in my life, so um, they would advise me um to do the right thing not only my family my friends as well um if there was a party I, I, I remember this story once um one of our friends Leon I remember I was supposed to go to um there was a party and um and he advised me not to go to the party that's that's someone you want to have around me have yeah. around you do you get what I'm saying because yeah another person might say oh like come to the party of us but it's not the right thing to do if I've got football the next day I can't be going out like that. I have to be focused um, so I can perform to the best of my ability going yeah. out a day before a game. Some people can do that. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I have done that when I've got older. I have gone out and, and gone to training. Or, But as I said, for me, that's not the right thing to do. And um, I had the right people around me um, to advise me to do the right things. And as I said, the older you get, the more you get to know yourself. So... I like I know that um, going out before a game or before training or eating the right things before a day before a game, like I, I know I know what's I know what's good for me. So yeah, yeah. It's, I'd say it's part of the part of the growth. I'd say yeah, definitely. And what was it was it hard to make those decisions? You know, like when when you hear I don't know the day after, like yeah, it was the party was good, or just in that moment, like what what kind of definitely kept you, that- kept you on. Like, no, I'm not going to go. Like, I, you know, was it like, I want to achieve something? Like, what was it for you that kind of kept you on yeah, a straight no, and narrow? Definitely. When, when, when obviously you, all your friends are going to a party and you, you, you want to go and stuff like, 
Um, it's always hard to say no, like, but it's sacrifices. Like sometimes you have to make sacrifices. If you want to play to the highest level possible or you want to um, start meeting goals that you've set, you, you have to um, sacrifice. You have to give up some things. And, and that was one of the things that I definitely did give up because, as I said, um, I wanted to make it as 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 high as I, as possible. I wanted to get um, the best contracts I can. I wanted to play for the best teams possible. So you have to sacrifice um, things to try and get as far as possible. It's hard. Yeah. It is hard because, especially when you're younger, like you you you're gonna make mistakes. But it's just learning from your mistakes. Do you get yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, like totally. that's, that's what I think it is. And um, so, yeah. do you feel like you're having the right people? around you so like choosing or shaping the right environment really helped you like progress with like your career and decision making definitely um as i said when you're um a professional footballer you you don't have that much time anyway because you're training every day so you have to sacrifice because uh, when other people can or, or who are free can do whatever they want I can't because I've got training the next day or I've got a match or I've got to do something because football football football's quite it's busy it's, it's very intense do you get know mm-hmm. what I mean so yeah. um you train five times a week or train yeah train you train four times a week and play on a Saturday so you're always in so yeah you have to make sacrifices and you have to um and I think it's worth it as well. As I said, it's worth it. Like you have uh, sacrifice is worth it. If you make it as a professional footballer and you achieve, achieve stuff and play uh, and and get the contracts that you that that you want, it's it's worth it to me. Like yeah. other people might 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 say it's not, but for me, it's definitely worth it. So for you, would you say it was like kind of just keeping your eye on your your long term goal, but just making sure you're doing the things that you needed to do daily to kind of get you there? Do you think that was kind of I just think it's about balance. I think it's about balance. Yeah. Like, I, there's nothing wrong with going out with your friends. It's just when, like, uh, like if, if I was going to go out with my friends or go out with my missus or go out, it's, it's going to be um, when I've got a day off or it's going to be um, after the game, the next day I'll have a day off. So uh, if I have a game on a Saturday, yeah. if I have a game on a Saturday and I've got a day off on a Sunday, I'd go out on a Saturday night because I know that I've got a day the next day I can, do you know what I mean? There's no obligation yeah. to train or anything. So for me, it's just, you just got to be balanced. It's just about balance in, in life think, in general. I think that's a, like amazing that you've brought it up because I feel that like balance is, is super important. And, you know, like you said, doing things at the right times when it makes the kind of like the most sense so you get like the best of both worlds. I feel like a lot of times with, um, you know, whatever it may be like fitness, health, whatever it is, balance is very important and making the right decisions at the right Definitely. time where it's, it's, it's working in your favor, but then it's also not isolating you from like your friends and family. Cause for, 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 for me and for you, I can see that your family is like a big part of, and yeah. your friends, a big part of your support network and your team. Definitely. So I, I the reason why I say balance is because you, I think too much of something is not, not good. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, one 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 saying that I always say is um don't get too high and don't get too low. So, for instance, when I was younger, if I lost the game, um, it might uh, I might be um upset or disappointed, and I might take that energy home yeah. to my kids or to my missus. But where I'm at now, I don't I leave it where it is because I don't feel like I should be taking that home. Like I know yeah. Um, Football is my, my job and football is something that I love, but I don't want to take that energy home or take that home to where my household could be happy and I'm coming yeah. home and I'm sad. So now what I do is I try my best to just leave it at football. When I go back to football, I pick it up from where it is. Obviously, oh, I don't, I think, I think about stuff, but I don't dwell on it. Do you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think that's, like, that's you know I mean? amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's there's so much like depth to what you said there because um with um even thinking about you know myself and my journey or a lot of my clients people that I work with um a lot of people they think when they make a mistake like them their mistake might, might not be like like yours like losing the game but not being able to stick with their diet or drinking too much and then they think it sticks with them and they kind of like just 
keep, you know, I'll, you know, I've messed up. I'm just going to keep making the same mistakes. I'm just going to, it's not worth it, yeah. you know, but having a mentality of like not getting too high and not be going too low and then finding that, yeah. Yeah. that balance, that happy medium would, would um, serve a lot of people very, very well. Like kind of just that kind of maintaining that, you know, that equilibrium and that kind of like that balance. And, and, and I think that's a very, very strong point that, that you, um, that you, you said there. No, I, I said like, for me now, I said it's taken me years to get to this point because I never used to do that. I used to, if I used to lose or if I, if I feel like I've had a bad game, I used to go home and that whole weekend could be, could be ruined. Now yeah. I'm just like, all right, I had a bad game. Next game, I'm going to have a good game. Do you yeah. get what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Like, I think yeah. positively, I try to think positive about everything. Do you get what I mean? Definitely. So, so that's, yeah. that's something I've been trying to do a lot over the last couple of years is looking for like bright spots. So something bad could have happened. And I feel that a lot of times it's so easy to hold on to that bad thing that happened when there could be 10 other good things that have happened. But because you're so focused on this bad thing, you, you can't even you can't celebrate the small wins that kind of can definitely outweigh the the, the, then, the bad thing that's happened. A hundred percent. And then if you dwell on the bad things another one could happen then another one could happen so it's yeah, about yeah it, uh, it's all about as you said looking at the bright spots it could for me in my in my um field it could be looking at clips of me playing well that could bring you back up do you yeah, get what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah, so yeah. it's just it's just finding because obviously we're all individuals so it's finding the best what's what's best for you do you get what I'm saying yeah. it could be watching a film it could be with your kids it could be going to visit your parents whatever's yeah. going to bring you back up is that's that's what I believe you should do because what I found is as I said you could if you dwell on something too long it's going to consume you and you yeah. don't want you don't want to be consumed by anything do you get what I mean yeah totally so, totally agree I was speaking a few a few podcasts ago or maybe the last one about um you know when you slip up or you do make a mistake or there is an error or you know you lose a game it's it's not about it's more about how you bounce back from it right and how 100%. quickly you can 100%. how quickly you can stop that negative mindset or like oh man ah oh, you know like i'm not good enough or uh, you know i'm, I'm mm. you know i can't do it like the quicker you get back to the good habits or looking at like you said things that you're good at can just get the ball rolling again and get you kind of back on the course to like where you want to be a hundred percent and i feel like a lot of people me included sometimes we overthink things we think, oh, like we, we think we overthink things. So you could be thinking, oh, am I going to be playing on 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 Saturday because I've had a bad game? But your manager's not thinking nothing like that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, you're yeah. worrying or or your teammates ain't thinking nothing like that. They're just like you're worrying for no reason. And then you yeah. come to come to Friday when it, or Saturday when the team's picked and you're in the team. So that whole week you're worrying. What for? So you've just worried for the week for no reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. This, like, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it before. I've done it before. So now I don't even like to think negatively because you don't know. Like, you, you like, do you know what I'm saying? You, you yeah. put them things out there, you start thinking like that, and then your your mentality just takes over. Like, oh, as I said, 100%. it could affect how you are at home. It could affect you at work. It could affect you in a way. And, like, you're thinking, oh, this could happen. But none, none of that could happen. You yeah. could just be back in the team or you could be back to the gym or whatever and you're fine. Do you get yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So um what, what are some of the things that you do for like switching off? Because I, I know you said like balance is very important and um you know football, you know, it, it, it can consume you, but like so what what do you do to kind of switch off from like football or like you know the pressures because it's it's quite high pressure, it can be very intense. What do you do to um, like to get to so, your happy happy space outside of football? Um, being with my kids. Um, it could be going out with my kids, taking them places, going out with my missus. It could be um, going out with my friends, also going to visit family members, listening to music, playing um, computer games. It could be, like, I, I, do, I do a different, watching movies, cinemas. It's just, like, I do uh, multiple things. Like, it, it just depends... Um, on the situation but there's loads of things that I do um that I, um that I feel like will get me thinking even reading the bible like my mom's very religious um, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm I'm very religious um reading the bible gives it makes me um 
think positively like do you get what I mean like, okay. like there's different things that I do it's just I don't just do one it just depends on the situation do you get what I mean yeah 100 percent 100 percent um like going back to kind of like um your environment and kind of um like shaping your path and and, and your career and kind of the things you need to do to to get to where you need to be um was had have you ever noticed obviously without naming any names um people who were in like a similar environment to yourself you know had these aspirations of reaching a certain goal professionally in in whatever field um and you know could have been like super talented um but for some reason or another they didn't manage to get there have you have you seen people who are like super talented but maybe because of oh, their, yeah. de- their decision making or their 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 attitude yeah that that um, kind of pulled them back Definitely. I feel like um, my whole career, I've seen ta- every team I played for, there's someone that's talented that don't make it. Um, even when I started, when I started at Charlton, um, I wouldn't say I was the best player, like um, talent wise. There was a lot, there was a lot more um, players that were better than me. Yeah. But one thing that I had was I was a, I had a good attitude and I, I feel like I outworked anyone. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. so that's a, so that's that's what I had over there. Even though they were better than me and ability wise, they probably had better ability than me. I've always had a good attitude, punctuality, always try to come on time, and attendance. I always try to be there. Yeah, um, yeah. And fo- and football installed that to me. Like that, I, I feel like people don't um, give football um, the credit it it, it deserves because it, it's it's a life lesson. It, it shows you about life, not just it's not just about playing. Like, as I said, if, if I'm late at football, I get fined. Yeah, yeah. So, and and that's been from when I was young. So I, I always try to be on time wherever I go, wherever it's, if I say three o'clock, I want to be there at three o'clock because that's been installed in me from when I was young. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? So yeah. football don't just give you, it's not just about playing. It gives you life lessons, life skills. Do you get what I'm trying to say? That I've, I've, I've kept from what, from when I started, do you get what I mean? Because as I said, like you be late, you get fined. Who wants to get fined and yeah. get money back <laughs> yeah. to the club? Yeah. No one wants to do that. So that's why if I need to be there hour before the time that I, the, the time is said, then I'm gonna be there hour because as I said I hate being late. That's one thing I really hate. And I'm not saying I've never been late because I have, but um, uh, I feel like my punctuality is really good and my attendance is really good. So yeah, yeah, and I think that's 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 very very true. I think it it kind of installs certain traits that stay Definitely. with you like long term. So like you say, and making sure that you're on time, um, and having that structure and that routine of knowing that on this day, this time, I need to be here. And like you said, 100%. I think what really stood out for me was just like showing up. You said that there were people that had maybe more ability ability than you, but just showing up and putting a shift in kind of you can you can still make massive massive progress oh definitely as yeah. so said you see it like see people in the premiership some people might say oh they're not good but they're in the premiership do you get what i'm saying like they've yeah. done something right to make it there um and as i said it's all about everyone's different everyone's different and you just got to do what works for you um, yeah for me I've, I've i've always had i've always worked hard um and that's one thing that um football's installed in me I've always worked hard like I can't like even to this day I try and try my best I'm not saying that there's not going to be people that works as hard as me or even harder but I'm going to do the best I can that's 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 with anything that's that that's not just football that's in life do you get what I mean like I want to do the best I can in life like I said whether it's being a dad a son um a cousin a friend I feel like yeah that's what you've got to do you've got to be the best you yeah, and you got that's, a, and you got so a, and you got to know how to be the best you. As I said, it's yeah. growth. I, like, yeah. If you spoke to me ten years ago, I wouldn't have this mindset. I would be totally different. But it's yeah. taken taken me, as I said, thirty three years to get to where I am now. So now my mindset's a lot better. My my I know my body. Um, I know what's good for me. I know I know what I need. Do you know what yeah, I mean? And I, I've I've seen the growth as well. I've I've seen the growth of you like maturing um you know like decision making and just like your whole attitude and your your outlook I've, I've really seen um kind of the the development um was it was there anyone that kind of 
helped you along your way? Like, did you have like a mentor or someone that said, oh, you know, like, let's say, for example, when you like schoolboy or you're a youngster and then going, going up to play um, higher level, was there anyone that kind of put their arm around you and said, not, not, not having to say any names, but was like, you know, Miles, you've got some good potential, but you need to get better at X, Y, Z. Or was there like a particular coach or someone that really guide you or put some stepping stones or things that you needed to, to work on to kind of get yourself to the next level? Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've said that, like, foot, the foot, football community is quite small, man. Everyone kind of knows everyone through someone. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I might know, like, I might not know the person directly, but I know someone that they know. Like, yeah. So throughout my career, I've had loads of people like that. I've had loads of people that's helped um, um, guide um and gave me good um, instructions and good advice um, throughout my career. Um, one of my, well, I'll say one of my closest friends in football um, would be Bayo Akin Um And I've learned so much through him. I'd say not even just through football, just in, um, in life in general. Like, um, he works so hard outside of football. Even he, he, he kind of, helped me to even work even harder because yeah he would go to football then he would go after football he's, he, he's got he's doing a shoot and then he's because footballers day is quite short like you probably finish half day so you've got the rest of the day to do whatever you want but a lot yeah. of footballers don't we just waste that waste that, uh, that half of the day and do nothing with it but with, that being close with with Bayo he kind of showed me that you can work harder. You think you're working hard, you definitely can work harder. Like, yeah. it's not going to affect you. If anything, it's going to make you even better. Do you get what I mean? And that's not even in football. That's in life. Like, it could be, as I said, it could be even taking your son, taking my son out to, like, play football and pr- help him. It yeah. could be doing homework with your... It could be, as I said, like, it, it's whatever's best for you. But as I said, like, that's one person that I'd say I've, 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 I'm close with and I've seen what he's done and I've seen how he's been doubted and I've seen the work that he's put in. Yeah. And I'm saying, well, if he can do that, why can't everyone do that? Like, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can work harder. And as I said, even put it, even your, my body, like I, I, I proper know my body a lot better than what I did before. Like I know what I need um, when it comes to training. I know what I need when it comes to recovery. And um, as I said, it's taken me years to know. Yeah, it's yeah. taking trial and trial and tribulations for me to know this. Um, injuries, like I know what I need. Like, do you get what I mean? So yeah. But as I said, yeah, like now I know, I know, I know. After a game, straight in the ice bath. Do you get what I mean? Because I yeah. know going in that ice bath is gonna recover me for the next time I'm in football. Do you get yeah. what I mean? Recovery yeah. skins. I'd wear. I don't. I do the ice bath, and then I'll after the ice bath, I will have a shower, put on my recovery skins. Yeah, yeah, and then I'll have a recovery shake and then I'll eat. So I know the, the, the routine I have now, it just, I just know my body. Like, I know my body. Do you get yeah. what I mean? And these days in football, you wear GPSs all the time. So you know how much you're running, you know how much um, you're putting in and how much. So there's no, do you get what I mean? Everything yeah, popular. yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm I, saying? I think, so, I, think, I think it's so great that you've, 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 you've said that. Like, it's taken you so long to find that winning formula for yourself in terms of mm. your your habits and your routine like the structure of okay I know for me to perform at my best I need to do xyz for me to recover well I need to know xyz and it's taking you a certain amount of time to realize that and and then put it in into play I think that shows yeah, a lot like, of people I that it doesn't that. happen overnight you know it takes oh no way I always think this if I knew what I knew now when I was younger I, I feel like I would have I would have um, went a long, long, long way further than what I have gone because I said the one time you don't go in the ice bath, you could break down and have an injury or whatever. And sometimes I think when you're young, you think, oh, I don't need to do this. I don't. I'll be, be all right. Like, do you get what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. And and really, you do need to do it because the one time you don't do it is when something happens. Do you get yeah. what I mean? And so, yeah, totally. And and, and the thing is, you, I'm not saying you can't prevent that. Uh, like, you can prevent anything, everything, because you can't. Some things are just going to happen. Yeah. But you can prevent a lot of other things. Do you get what I'm saying? If you totally. do the right things, I feel like it will be in the long run beneficial for you. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what, what have you done to kind of 
how have you stayed like so focused in terms of you know when things have become difficult within football or outside how what's kind of kept you helped keep your routine of I'm just going to show up. I'm going to show up to training. I'm going to give 100%. Is there anything, any rituals you know or is there, is there any type of music Boy, or is there I'm, anything that kind of people or as family? I said, as I said before, um, I'm a godly person. So yeah. praying and reading the Bible, man, like I've, I've got a lot of faith. So um, that's definitely helped me. That's definitely helped me because as I said before, sometimes you might think, oh, you might be dwelling, something might be dwelling in your head and then you pray about it and it goes and you're in a better place. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely praying, um, um, reading the Bible. And do you know what? Just being around good people, man, like being around people that's going to help. It's, as I said, I'm at the stage now where the things I used to like, I don't, I'm not that I don't like it, but I don't, I feel like I don't need it as much do you get what yeah. i'm saying so i don't, don't see the value out. in it as much yeah yeah like yeah. going out and partying not saying that i'm not gonna do that and i don't do that because i do but i don't need to do that every weekend yeah do you yeah, get what i mean yeah. there was yeah, a stage yeah. there, was a, there was a stage where i would do that every weekend <laughs> yeah. do you get what i mean so, so i'm at the stage now i don't need to go out every weekend i could go out for someone's birthday or i could go out if my friend says do you want to go out once and yeah i can do that but yeah i don't need to do that as much like, do you get what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. as I said, it's just, it's just knowing, I just know myself better. I just know myself better. I know, I know what's good for me. I know I'm, I'm comfortable with, with myself. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. And um, just go, going back again, like speaking about environments, um, how, how did you adapt? So when you moved out of London, what was that like? When a whole new experience, young, you know, out, young professional different environment, different set of people around you? How did you stay true to you and kind of like your values and do stick with the same routine and the habits, you know, show up, give a hundred percent. What it must've been quite, was it, was it quite tough being like a younger person in a change room full of like big personalities? How could you stay true to you and, and um, what you believed in? So this what I would say me moving out of London is probably the best thing that best decision I ever made. Yeah. Um, it's probably one in my career that was probably the hardest time in, in my career, but it was the best time because I went from living with my my, my dad um, to having to go in at what, 18, 19 to go into living not in them by myself. So I had to do everything myself. So I had to learn how to wash my clothes, I had to learn how to cook, I had to learn how to clean. Not saying I didn't know these things, yeah, but I didn't have to do when you're in your parents house you don't have to do them as much when you live in, in your own house you have to do these things all the time so um it made me a man that's what basically it made me a man and to be honest that the first year i was in nottingham i went for a tough time i was depressed i was mm -hmm. homesick um um yeah my mum my, my, my and dad came up to spend time with me because I didn't really want to do it. I was injured all the time as well so yeah yeah um when I was at when I was in Nottingham I'd done my hamstring that season I'd done my hamstring so many times um so I was really really depressed um but yeah as I said I had I had my mum and dad and my family and my friends came up yeah we to, came to, I caught I caught there was that's what this is what I mean so <laughs> I had people coming up to make me um to help me like I and they may not even known that they was helping me by coming, but it helped me so much because I had people around me. Yeah, you get what yeah. I mean? Because not saying that I didn't know people in Nottingham, but they're not your family. Like, and they're not, it's they're unfamiliar, not right? It's not like... Yeah, it's unfamiliar. So so when everyone used to come up, when my mum and dad used to come, when all my friends and family used to come, it helped me so much. Um, and... Yeah, it was the best thing. I think going to Nottingham was the best thing I ever done. It made me a man. Like I became a man when I done that because I knew I had to pay my rent on time. I had to go shopping. I had to. Do you know what I'm saying? These yeah, are things yeah. when you live in your mom and dad's house. Sometimes you like you don't have to do to yeah, the yeah, same extent. Yeah. So you had to create like, like new habits and new behaviors. Like new habits, otherwise, new behaviors. It, he would have been eating. <laughs> no, exactly. And but the 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 thing. Uh, Back, going back to working hard. So that first season, I think I played like 25 games, 24 games, and I didn't even start much because I just kept on getting injured in my hamstrings. That second season that I was at Notts County, 
I played 46 games. I, I, I missed one week, I think. I missed one week. And that's what I mean. Like, I, when I say I work hard and, and um, I've got the attitude, I was yeah. determined not to be injured. That's yeah, what it was yeah. because the first yeah. season I was injured. So I'm saying I can't waste another season here. Mm. And basically the second season, I played 46 games. I missed one game. One, one, yeah, I missed one game. And that's how I've been. Like, not even that people doubting me, but I just feel like I had to, to myself, I said, listen, I need to, I can't just be up here and be injured. I need to make this count. So the second season, like, I just came back a beast in every way. Like, my attitude was better. I was fit. I'd done whatever I needed to do to yeah. stay fit. Because yeah. the previous season, I was injured all the time. And I said, I'm not doing that again. Mm. So I said, it made me a man. It's probably, I said, the best decision I made um, in football is what to go to another. Yeah. Uh, I think, like you said, when you get out of your comfort zone, that's where the real magic happens, right? Like you stay Definitely. comfortable, you're like you're around things that are familiar. You wouldn't have learned half the things you learn about yourself or your abilities Definitely. by staying comfortable and staying where you were by like taking those steps, right? Do you know what? It's going to be a new experience, but I'm willing to, to give it a try. I'm just going to show up and I'm going to learn from the, from the experience. Listen, it's scary, man. Like, and obviously I'm talking from a footballer's um, perspective, but I, I can only imagine what uni students are like, like where they, yeah. they live in one place and they got to go and live in another place and they got to do lectures and they got to like, do you know what I mean? It's hard. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I can't, I, like, it's, it's, I commend everyone that does that because for 100%. me, I, I was, I was homesick and, I was, and Nottingham's only two and a half hours down the road. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I could have really yeah. drove back more than I did, but, I just, it, it wasn't for me, like, the, the I just missed my home environment. But then, as I said, once I got used to it, once I started focusing on football and I've got my body right and my mind right, then it, it, it worked out. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, totally. And um, I was speaking to someone about this the other week. I'm not too sure who it was. But I was just saying, that's talking about uni and, and things like that, making decisions. Like, I was quite lucky because I knew quite early like what I wanted to do like I was playing football then I got really into fitness I was like okay this is what I want to pursue but the things that I've learned along the way constantly change like I, I always want to do different things so it must be so hard for someone to make have to make a decision so early about having to study something or make make a big decision like my mind my things change in my mind Trust all me. the time so having to like but follow through with something so early or know like, is- oh, I need to do this this is but the like there's nothing wrong with not knowing that's yeah, the yeah. thing do you get what yeah, i'm saying there's totally. nothing wrong with it like people feel like oh i've got to do this why like life is it, i said it's growth like you need like when you're young you might be into one thing then yeah. five years later you might be into something else there's nothing wrong with doing totally that. totally you know what i'm saying there's nothing wrong with doing that people put a perspective in your head saying oh if you do this you have to. why do i yeah, like, yeah, why yeah. do I got to do that? 100%. I don't have to do that. I can 100%. go into something totally different if 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 I just if I decide to do that. Right. You get what I'm saying? It's totally. just that I've got two 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 skill sets. Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I agree. Similar with football, like I'm not football, like fitness, where people think, oh, you have to do a certain type of fitness, or it's not fitness. Like you have to go to the gym. You don't have to. You could you could be a dancer. You could dance. You can still get the same same similar. Exactly. You know, move your body, feel good. Like wellness comes in all different shapes and sizes. There's no one right way of doing something. It's about experiencing and, and finding what works best for yourself. And I was saying this the other day. Um, I take my son to like a, a football club on Sunday, and uh, one of the parents was saying that his son does football, swimming. Um, and taekwondo I said that's the best thing that you're doing because you're exposing your kid to free things like yeah, at, yeah, at, yeah. At, at, and and that's what at, why can't adults do that why can't we go into yeah two or three different things because you you might think you like this but you haven't even tried that oh, to exactly. know if you've liked that. exactly do you exactly. get what I mean so so I feel like we should be exposed to um different things because a lot of people stay in their comfort zone, but how do you gonna how are you gonna know if you're good at something or if you're gonna like something you've never tried that? Do you yes, get what I mean? Totally. I I I definitely agree with that. I like um even for myself, like there were certain things when I was younger, I was like, oh, that's not me, you know. Like I kind of gave myself like um an image, whereas like, you know, 
Whereas now I'm I'm much more open to explore and try different things versus where I was oh, like before. And I think definitely. definitely shouldn't kind of categorize yourself because you close yourself off to so many opportunities. 100%, 100%, 100%. Um, so just quickly before we uh, wrap up, um, how do you shape your goals? So like um, we're going to touch on kind of like your, 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 your mentor, mentoring academy, um, um shortly how how do you go about shaping your goals so like from you know when you're like one club did you always have aspirations to play internationally um for uh, Antigua like did you set out some type of strategy or did it kind of just just happen um it kind of just happened um when I was young I used to play for England so I was I was um, I played for England 16s, under 16s, under 17s, under 18s, and under 19s. So playing for another country really didn't. Um, I didn't. I didn't even think about it. Yeah. But it's it's when I went to. Um, I think when I went to Brentford, that's when they approached me. I was 21, and at the time I, I just wasn't. I, I just did it. I didn't want to do it. I yeah. didn't want to play play um, internationally. But I think I made the the wrong decision. I feel like. When I eventually did go, oh man, it was amazing, man. Um, playing in um, a different country in, yeah. in front of um, thousands of fans and playing in different different stadiums, even like playing with the Antiguans and getting to know um, Antigua, the island, was amazing for me because yeah, you sometimes you think you know that like you you feel like you know you know a place or you know something, but you don't really know it. I only yeah. knew it properly until I went there. Yeah, so yeah. it was amazing. It opened, and I traveled the world as well. So that's another thing that it done. It made me travel the world. Um, so yeah, like uh, I feel like it was another good decision that I made was to um, play for Antigua. But um, yeah, like I said, for me, it's growth. It's growth again. As yeah. I said, like um, at twenty one, they called me up. I don't think I went until I was twenty six. Yeah, Do you yeah. Get what I mean, so for yeah. five years, I missed out on five years of international football because. I just kept on saying no. But like, as I said, like for me, I went and it was probably another great decision because um, I learned so much. I've got to travel the world, playing for your country. So yeah. Yeah, definitely. And um like with with goals, do you do you do you set yourself kind of like yearly goals or is it more about like self-development that you try to just always be the best version um, of yourself like over these like years you said that you've really like developed and, and grown like was that something that you set as a as a goal I want to understand myself better or is it something that just kind of just happened um no I've set goals I have set goals but you see the the what I've learned with setting goals you, they have to be realistic Mm-hmm. I think some people set unrealistic goals. Yeah. I've done it. Like, you know what I mean? I want to score 20, 20 goals in a season, but I've never scored 20 goals in a season. <laughs> Not saying that. <laughs> Not saying that. <laughs> Not, saying that. <laughs> Not saying that I can't do that because you can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not start with 10? Like, do you yeah, get what I'm yeah. trying to say? 100%. This, I was speaking about this recently, yeah. like, you know, like, when it comes to, like, losing 20 kilos, or whatever, don't yeah. worry about 20 kilos. Lose... Or half a kilo first, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same. Even like, um, with my body, like it could be like, all right, cool. I want to be able to bench press a hundred kg or whatever. But you're not gonna go from sixty to hundred straight away. You have yeah, to yeah, progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And I yeah. feel, even like diets, like I've, I've, I've set goals with diets, and I'm saying, you, sometimes you can't just cut things straight out of your diet. How about 100%. you go from a whole chocolate bar? A half a chocolate bar, yes, yes, quarter, yes, yes, yes. None, this like, is what I tried to what say. I, I, yeah, no, that's what I've realized. I realized like I, I used to do some unrealistic things, or like, and I'm thinking like, it's so hard to do that. Like, it's, it's it's really hard, just cut back instead of just cutting it out. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Because when people do that, it's they go from the known and comfortable like a fami- something that's familiar to then something that's totally unfamiliar like whoa this is unknown territory to- unknown territory yeah, it's, like, it's, i can't yeah, i can't deal crazy. with this you know they might last like one day part, then, as i said the end of the day part like, as, it's, it's part it's part as gro- of growth though because yeah. i bet you are you see when you set that goal and you don't if you don't achieve that goal the next goal that you set it's going to be different you're gonna you're gonna have to adjust 
Because yeah. it don't make sense. You're just going to be failing if you do it like that. Yeah, do you yeah, get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. And no one wants to fail. Like, you want to achieve goals. 100%. And you want to you, you make achievable goals as well. Uh, you know I totally I mean? agree. It, it's something I see so, so, so often, and, and it's very common where people set the same like the same goal over and over again and they keep failing they're not realizing that you have to break it down you have to keep it quite exactly. familiar for a while before you then kind of um definitely definitely make those changes so yeah there's definitely some gems there um so yeah tell us a bit about your your academy like the next steps what's going on with westy so so yeah like so um i decided to um create a um a football fitness and mentoring company called elevate ffm nice um reason why i decided to do that because i was thinking i'm 33 now um i didn't know what i was going to do after football um i got my coaching badges quite early i think i got my coaching badges like five six years ago um and i thought you know what like i feel like i've got a lot to give not even just coaching just helping people yeah i feel yeah. like i can just help people in general like and i feel like a lot of people think they know football but they don't really know football and i feel like um not only younger people um anyone i feel like i could just help them with um their journey if it's football is football if it's fitness is fitness if it's uni is uni i can just help I, with, with my experiences that i've had um I feel like I can help people. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to create a, a, a company um, to do that. And yeah, like it's, it's going well. Um, I've got clients, uh, um, coach, football, I do football coaching. I do men, mentoring um, sessions. And um, yeah, it's, it's just to help. As I said, like, I, I can't, I felt like I can't sit on the knowledge that I have yeah. and not give it to someone. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people can benefit from even having a conversation with me because yeah, it, it even and and it's not just it could be someone's parents do you get what i'm trying to say so yeah. like it could be like a, um, someone that takes their uh, uh some football or, or daughter football on a sunday it's just giving them the knowledge of how football works or how what diets or what diets yeah, totally. to have to give to their to give to their 100%. kids or what to expect if you become a professional footballer because I feel like not many people know and I feel like they have to know because there's, it's good, but there's some things that um, are bad and you need to have, uh, it has to be balanced. So you have to know what you're really getting into because I always say this, like some of the things that I've been through, my, my, my son loves football, but some of the things that I've been through, I always think, can, is he going to be able to handle the things that I handled? Yeah, you yeah. Get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So yeah. I want to tell people, I want to help people, want people to have the knowledge of um, what football is and what fitness is, and do you get what I'm saying? Hundred percent. Coaching. Like I, I, I can, I can. I, I said I, I, I couldn't just sit on the info. I felt like I, I needed to get it out there. So yeah, that's why I thought create this company. Yeah, I think for you that it seems like like the natural progression, like you've. Um, the way that you've grown, the the stuff that you've picked up, the knowledge that you've acquired over the years, definitely could exactly. be installed in other people. And again, like you said, there's a lot of people, a lot that people don't know. When youngsters aspire to be become a professional in some aspect or whatever field it is, they just see people who have been very successful, and they see the end result, and they don't understand the stepping stones and the 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 things they need to go through the behind 100%. the scenes that kind of the you know that that, 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 that takes you there 100 percent. i said it's taken me years to get to this place but i just feel like um now um it's time as i said i've uh i've got my way for be coaching badges so I, i've been and i coach i play football that's the difference as well and and i wanted to be different to other coaches I, i've got a lot of friends that do coaching um and that's helped me um create the company also but I just wanted to be different. I didn't want to just be doing coaching and helping people do that. I, co I play football every day, so my mind's fresh anyway. But I yeah. just feel like I want to help people mentally and physically. I don't want it to just be, oh, f this football. If I can help you in your journey in life, then that's what I want to do. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. Guys, it's been a very, very, very valuable episode i hope you guys all enjoyed it miles where can people find you if they want to follow you hit you up 
What's the what's the handles? Um, yeah, I'm on um Instagram at um elevate underscore ffm. Um, that's where I, that's where I am. Um, and I've got a, a email address, um, elevate on um, elevate official ffm as well. Um, but I'll I'll put all the um I'll give you all the details so you can put it up as well, Tizzle. Yeah, well, I'll pop that in the description. Miles, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining. Guys, that wraps up another episode. Thank you for all for joining and get my handle as well, Terrell at squaremyfitness.com, Instagram at Terrell Grant. It's been an absolute pleasure, guys. To the next time, take care. See ya.